562 and it's actually on a Ford chassis. Start again. Well, what have I said? It's called the F62 this time. Oh, the F62. <laughs> Now, as far as compact van goes, this is one of my favourite compact vans, little two berths. It's an old trail tribute F62 and it's on a Ford chassis. And this one in particular is on the 130 brake horsepower, three and a half tonnes, so it can be driven on the restricted car licence. It is a four berth with two belts, so it has the bench seats inside. Yeah, what I like about this van. It's got a great little kitchen area here and we've got good toilet, good washroom and what they've also packed in, drop down bed which is electric and then also got your bench seats here as well. These can be made up into a double bed as well. You've also got a good single here I'd say yeah. That's a, it is a good single. I mean you can easily fit four, five people around there I mean I don't know whether the driver and passenger seat swivel around or not but look at that big screen on the Ford as well I'm assuming that's one of the packs but that's brilliant yeah it's a great little two berth van yeah anything personally I don't like about it is it's on the whale heater but at the same time it is an electric bed so it does go up and down without any effort and it's just under six meters long as well which is a great size <laughs> yeah i know the only thing i'm a bit unsure of a bit of a waste of space in the corner there you now if you're actually chopping stuff you've got to be leaning over the i get your point i get your point probably you could have put a microwave there Oh yeah, or, 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 or moved it, yeah, moved it over. You just got no workspace. I feel like the sink could have been better there somehow, with a bit of workspace in the middle. Okay, okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. Slimline fridge. Yeah. Again. Free, freezer compartment at the top. I'm assuming this is for the table. Free standing table. And what do we have? Got three hobs on there as well, isn't that nice? Everything you need. It's a great van. I do like how they are, they are coming up on the well. yeah, and on the Fords. The Fords are getting better and better every year now. Yeah. And I know Chasson for sure they use the Ford now as their top, uh, their range topper. Great little two berth camper van. You know, it's quite wide as well. I'm surprised about how wide it is. It's almost into Bailey territory for space. And I can't work out why. Yeah, that, it's it. When I came into the van, I mean, for me to sit down and stretch my legs out, and I'm not sitting the other side. Well, this is it. When I came into the van, the first thing I felt, it, it, I got good vibes from it. It felt homely. It, it, just good vibes. Yeah, nice and spacious. Nice van. Aldis AutoQuest 194, it's going to set you back, you're going to get some change out of 51k. Um, I think it's good value for money this van Shane. Yeah certainly, they do also do this on the Compass Avant Garde as well. Yeah. So you can, I don't know whether you get a better deal with one or not, or just it depends what you prefer. But it's my favourite layout again, nice big garage at the Great back. Great garage. And I like here as well, it's actually got a little plug. Uh, so, yeah, plug hole. So when you put your wet kit, whether it's a bike or whatever in there, it does drain out nicely. No shower in there though, was it? No, but it is £51,000 rather than 70. Let's have a look inside then. Yeah. It looks good on the outside as well, doesn't it? It does, yes. The black alloys, I think, look good. It's a good looking van outside. Yeah. Again with this, the cab looks pack, which gets you the aircon and cruise control and airbags. Um, but the best thing about this that I like is the twin beds above the garage. Obviously the middle part comes up, doesn't it? It does. Now the only thing I would say about this, it's some way up. Yeah. You've got to be agile to get in. Yeah. Because by the time you get up here, you're hitting your head and then you've got to go up one more step just to be able to pull yourself up. Shane, does that middle part come forward? Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, no, I think that's about as far as it goes, because that's just a fill-in board. You can use it as a transverse double, okay? Yeah, you can use it as a transverse double. 
Yeah, but you wouldn't want to roll off there, would you? No. But you can cuddle up just before you go to sleep, and then when you actually want to go to sleep, you've got a nice bit of distance in between you. I suppose so. <laughs> I like the work tops. Yeah, nice, and they feel quite solid as well. Four hob burner again. Fridge, sink. What's the shower like? Is it all the rage all of a sudden with these positive locking mechanisms? Hmm. That's a nice big bathroom, I think. That's not bad. We like spoils, it, not Yeah. Then we've got a wall, nice big long wardrobe next to it. And then as J Jason will uh, demonstrate now, or show you at least, is the Eldis sleeps for, seats for. So if you just lift up one of those cushions, you'll see hopefully the pop-up seat. Done that on purpose, haven't you? <laughs> Would you like to show me? No, I think you're better doing it there, Jason. <laughs> We'd rather watch you make a fool of yourself. <laughs> to be fair, I think the seat's under the other bench. No, oh, no, it's not. There we go. So this is the four, birth, four belts. Eldest do promise for every birth that they will, um, they will, they will have the seats to carry as well. Because something that does frustrate me, especially with auto trail, is they'll probably sleep six, but they'll only have two travelling seats. Well, it's a bit. To be honest with you, Shane, that's my biggest bugbear in the motor home industry. If it's a four berth, four seat belts. If it's a six berth, put six seat belts yeah. in. And I think Elders have really got it right. The other company that's doing this quite well at the moment is also Benemar who have a, uh, like the bench seats that slide forward and up rather than the pop-up seats from underneath. But the benefit of the twin bench seats is you have got a nice lounging area for when you are in the motorhome. Nice touch with the seats. Yes, the brand Obviously you're safe. losing a bit of storage underneath, but... Yeah. Well, the good thing about this, you have got the garage at the back. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. The garage, the garage does make up for it, to be honest. This is a good van for its money. 50 grand, I think it's a brilliant van for its money. Again, everything you want, it does travel and seat four. Nice big garage for storage. Just get that looks back on the, on the cab and, and you're away. It's a good looking van. Hmm. Hmm. I'm impressed. When it came out a couple of years ago, I thought it, was, uh, it would do well. Hmm. Right, Shane, I found a great van here for the money for around about 62 grand. It's a four berth, it's a Super Brig 69 Plus Remore. Have a look at this one. Yeah, the base price is £56,000, but by the time you put a few packs up, it does go up. The thing I like about Remores generally, or on certain models, especially the Super Brigs, is they do the nice big garage. That's a proper garage. Yeah. That's a good, good garage. And just on the right hand side of the door, there is a little um, a keyhole, which rises and lowers the bed. So when you're traveling, you can put your bikes or whatever in the back. And when you are stationed and everything's out the garage, you can drop that bed down so it's a lot more accessible. This is a good looking van as it well. It is a very so. good van. So let's go inside. Something they are doing at this show is the Diamond Show Pack, which is solar panel, dash cam, reversing camera, cat one alarm, fly screen door, alloy wheels, front seat covers, DAB and Bluetooth radio. And that's only 3290. And it's 3,500 kilograms? Yeah, 3,500 3 kilograms, and it comes in at 7.3 metres. So it is uh, drivable for the restricted car licence. We've got a great bedroom at the back with your separate shower. That's a great shower as well, Shane. Yeah. I like the panelling inside the shower. And the thing I do like, which are on the other side, which is the porthole into the bathroom itself. It wants to be a ship. It does want to be a ship. It's a goldfish bowl. You, get the feel, you do get the feeling of space in here as well. You do, yeah. Um, the only thing I can say about it, though, it's not really, it's not really enough room on that kitchen. No, I mean, just while we're on this side, I do love these new two-way door, two door fridges. Depending on how that you're working, how you're working in the kitchen itself. They are good. I mean, it's new to this year. I'm pretty sure. 
and they're across a few different motorhomes. But you're not getting enough, much room here? No, something I do struggle with the super brigs is there is not really a kitchen to work with at all. It is very tight. I mean, you've got, you've literally got a sink in the hobs, nothing else. And then above you, Shane, you've got the drop-down bed, electric drop-down bed as well. Yeah, so with the double at the back and the electric drop-down bed at the front, it is a four berth. And with the drop-down bed at the top, it does utilise the space, but there's also plenty of headroom as well. It's a great van for its money. I think so, yeah. I really do. I'm not quite sure about the leather at the front and the suede behind. It just looks a bit mix and match, but I see your point. That's yeah. more of a personal preference. Yeah. Yeah, good van for its money with the big garages. Yeah, nice one.